Hey y'all, it's Brittany Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well. And I mean that in like the most sincere way. I haven't really like sat down and talked to y'all since like everything that's happened like has taken place. I feel like Mother Nature has some things she wanted to get off her chest and it shows. But um, you know, I really really hope that everybody is staying safe and staying in the best mindset possible. So y'all know we've been ordered to stay in the house so that we can keep ourselves safe, keep each other safe, and flatten the curve. Anything that is not essential has been closed down, like movie theaters, malls, retail stores, barber shops, nail shops, hair salons. The hair salon is closed. So basically in this video, I'm gonna be doing a hair tutorial for y'all, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get box braids like these at home if you're somebody who has never like done their own hair before their own protective styles trust me it's not as scary as you think so let's go ahead and get into the video basically i rubber banded all these sections so these are all the sections that are going to eventually be my braids and you can tell i went ahead and did the back and got that out of the way and i'm going to do the top for y'all i did the rubber banding to help make it neater like at my scalp. I'm one of those people who has trouble with like gripping my hair sometimes. So I just rubber banded the ones in front to make sure that the ones in front are like neater since those are the ones that you can like see better. I also laid down my roots with some shine and jam. So now that I have all of my sections together, I'm gonna do my braids. So I'm using the Spectra braiding here. I'm using it in the color 1B slash 30, so it's like an ombre color. I ordered this hair online from Beauty Depot. I ordered it like during the quarantine, so I wasn't able to go to the beauty supply store and get some, but I got it on Beauty Depot. They were charging like a dollar and some change per pack. I will link it down below for y'all, but they shipped it to me in like less than a week. It came super quick, so I was really happy with shopping from them. Okay, so you have your hair. You have your section already with your nice neat roots. Put your section in half like this with your fingers going through. You're gonna use these fingers to grab your natural hair. So you're gonna grab it and basically just release the hair so that it's a piece on each side, you see? And then from here, what I like to do is pull the hair down over my natural hair so that I'm already kind of like creating a loop. And then I take my middle finger and go under so that my fingers are positioned to do like a regular braid and then it just kind of goes from there. And I basically just continue to do the same motion until I can see that my braid is being done correctly. We're just going to keep on doing that same motion, working down. Once you get down to a certain point, I like to do it like at the middle of my like natural hair, but I'm going to take a piece of hair from each section of the braiding hair and then just pick up where I left off. And as I go down lower, I'm going to add some more of my gel and just put that on my natural hair and kind of like rub it into the braiding hair too so that it all blends in. Also make sure you're smoothing the hair down too, just to again, make sure that it's not popping out of your braid. And you're just gonna keep on braiding down. product of my hair and I'm really really happy with how it turned out. I sealed my ends with boiling water and then I also added some mousse on top of it just to give it like a little bit of extra shine. That's optional but you can definitely do it like if you want to. So I really like jazzing up my braids so I'm gonna add a little bit of jewelry just to like take it over the top 
and I'm also gonna lay my edges. So that is how I do my box braids. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you try the style for yourself at home. It's not super duper scary like I said before. It just takes a little bit of practice. That's all. And make sure that y'all subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!